Hi, welcome to the Rocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, this time around, we're going to talk about temperature and fan information on the ICX series. So we get a lot of questions on, you know, how to set the warning temperature, um, how to see the speed of the fans, etc. Um, and so for the most part, that is covered. It's all done automatically on the ICX platform, uh, but we'll have a look at that. So um, the way we would see that is under, is under a show chassis. So from the show chassis output, um, this is a stackable that's not currently in a stack. So stack unit one, we see that I have one power supply installed and its status is okay. I don't have the redundant power supply installed. Um, and then fans, so we have two fans, both are okay. The speeds are set to auto and they're currently running at speed one, which is low. Um, but they'll automatically change themselves to speed two if they need to. So this is not changeable. I can't change, I can't force those fans to, to, uh, to run in high. They're, gonna, they're going to uh, automatically update themselves based on the thresholds that are set on the box, right? So here we have, uh, we can see the two temperatures uh, sensors, right? So we have a management plane sensor, which is running at 57.9 degrees C at the moment. And we have a PoE thermal plane, which is running at 30 degrees. So um, what that means is these are board temperatures. So these are uh, not actually environmental temperatures. It's not like um, sensing the 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 outflow of the fans or the or the ingress of the fans. This is actually a sensor that is built into the board. So one of them is on the management board. One of them is on the POE board. Um, and so the, the fan thresholds uh, will kick up based on the uh, based on the thresholds that are down here. Right. So here's the, the fan speed switching temperature thresholds. So we have um, rule one, rule two. So the management plane. Right. So it's going to run speed one up until 93 degrees C. Um, and so um, and then and then speed two from 82 to one to 105. And once it hits 105, it's going to go into shutdown. Right. So. Um, so those are those are the two rules. Right. So as it kicks down um, and then and then rule two, the PoE thermal plane. So obviously the more power you're drawing, the more PoE devices you have, the warmer that uh, PoE plane is going to run. Um, so it'll run nominal up to 58 degrees C on speed one and 49 to 105 uh, where it's going to shut down. So again, these are not configurable, right? These are built into the firmware and not something you can do. There's the the. Um, the uh, airflow direction, so depending on the power supplies you have installed, depending on the platform, um, front to back or back to front. Uh, on the 7250, I don't have a choice, but um, then we have our, our slot one and slot two, so I don't have a slot two. Um, slot one, we can see that my two temperature sensors, which we already talked about before. Um, and here's our warning level and our shutdown level, right? So the only thing that I can change is the warning level. And the warning level is really when it sends you a console message, sends you a trap message um, uh, if for, in order to alert you that there's a problem, right? So the way we change this is for once, not from config T, this is actually done you know, in the, uh, in the global level. So right here, there is a uh, temperature command, right? Um, and so then you choose warning is your only choice. So temperature warning, um, we'll choose the unit number. So this is unit one, if there was a stack. Uh, and then we can set that to whatever you want. So I could set it to 30. Yeah, we'll set it to 30 degrees. So there's only one parameter there. So whichever one of them hits 30 degrees. So I have my two sensors, right? 57.9, uh, yeah, 57.9 and 30. So right away, it's going to give me a temperature over warning level. But what that doesn't do, it doesn't change the shutdown. It's still gonna shut down at 105 degrees. Um, and I should, if I do a show log, I'm also gonna see in the static log buffer, um, 
we're going to see right here in the static log. So this is going to be here even after a reboot. And also in the dynamic log, I'm going to see a problem here, right? So in both cases, it's telling me that the temperature is over the warning level, but it's not going to take any action based on that. So you don't have the ability to change that fan speed or to change those thresholds in the higher end platforms in the MLXE, uh, fast RNSX, things like that. You can change those thresholds, but in this particular platform, you know, we leave it to, um, to the device itself to, to, uh, to adjust those should it need to. Um, the only thing you can do, you could do a, um, uh, you could do a DM fan and it, so DM is diagnostic mode, so be careful with diagnostic mode. There's all kinds of things in there that will cause you grief. Um, but we can actually see exactly what those fans are spinning at, 6250 RPM and 6192 RPM. If you care, you know, those are just informational messages. It doesn't really matter, um, and you can't change them anyway. But if you're interested and want to know, then there it is for you. All right, so that's it. Pretty straightforward. And... Um, yeah, thanks for joining. Take care.